I'm Miss Gabby. And I'm Mr. Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to, to Virtual Storytime. Story we both work in the children's department at CLP Maine here in Oakland, and we're so happy to share stories, songs, and rhymes with you today. This virtual experience is for children birth to five and their caregivers. And for the adults out there, you can always connect with the library virtually at carnegielibrary.org to find those important literacy opportunities for your little ones and to access services and materials for you as well. We want you to know that we're here for you and the young learners you love. We're going to get started with our opening song, If You're Ready for a Story, sung to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. First, let's practice our movements. Can you clap your hands? Now nod our heads. Good. Then rub your tummy. Perfect. Now sit so still. You got it. Ready to do our movements with the song? On the count of three. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Good nice job. job. Right now it's winter here in Pittsburgh, and sometimes that means we have different weather than in the summer or fall. What do you notice about the weather in winter? Well, I notice it's usually pretty cloudy and gray and cold and oh, and sometimes it even snows. I actually know a fun song about snowflakes. Do you want to try it? Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. Do we need anything special for this song? Well, we have some scarves to use for this song, yeah. but if the kids and grown-ups at home don't have these scarves, you can also use a small towel or a rag to follow along. Sounds great. Ready to start? One, two, three. Fluffy snowflakes, fluffy snowflakes, make no sound. Make no sound. Falling, 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 falling on the ground. On the ground. Yes. Good, job. Good job. I don't know about you, Mr. Kevin, but I think I'm ready for a story. Yeah, great. How about a winter story like The Mitten? Oh, I love that one. Let's do it. Once there was a kid who wanted new mittens made from wool as black as night. At first, their grandmother did not want to knit black mittens. If you drop one in the forest at night, you'll never find it. She warned, but the kid wanted beautiful black mittens and finally, the grandmother knitted them. After she finished, she said, When you come home, first I will check and see that you are safe and sound, and then I will check and see if you still have your beautiful black mittens. Off the kid went into the dark forest, and it wasn't long before they dropped one of their mittens. An owl, tired from flying through the night, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Some time passed, then along came a penguin. The penguin, tired from waddling through the forest, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so she decided to stay. After a while, there came a mouse. The mouse, tired from digging a hole, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so they decided to stay too. Finally, when the sun was high in the sky, there came a squirrel. The squirrel, tired from collecting nuts all day long, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so she decided to stay. The owl, tickled by the squirrel's fluffy tail, gave an enormous sneeze. 
Uh, uh, choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On their way home, the kids saw the black shape of his mitten silhouetted against the bright white clouds, caught it, and returned home to their grandmother's house. When they came through the door, first their grandmother looked to see that they were safe and sound. Then she saw that they still had their new mittens. The, the end. Are you a grown up looking for book suggestions for your children? Here's a fun winter book that we love. For older kids, try reading So Much Snow by Kristen Schroeder. In this story, forest creatures hunker down in a snowstorm as they wonder when the snow will stop. So Much Snow contains rhymes, alliterative phrases, and repeating words, all of which will help encourage your child's phonological awareness skills. Phonological awareness is being able to hear and play with the smaller sounds in words. While reading this book together, you can point out the alliterative phrases like mountains melting or things thawing and try and find other words that start with that same sound. This will help grow your child's phonological awareness skills. This book is available as a picture book at many of our CLP locations. If you're interested in reading it at home, you can look for it on the shelves of your nearest branch or request it via our catalog. With a quick search of the catalog, this book could be on its way to a CLP location near you. Do you like winter, Mr. Kevin? Sometimes, but as winter is starting to come to an end, I am getting excited for spring. Oh, me too. I can't wait for the warmer weather, longer days, and for things to start growing again. I love to plant seeds and watch them grow. Well, I know a song about planting seeds. Do you want to sing it together? We can use our scarves from earlier in this song, too. I'd love that. Let's do it. One, two, three. We all plant the seeds, we all plant the seeds. Hi ho the dairy oh, we all plant the seeds. The rain begins to fall, the rain begins to fall. Hi ho the dairy oh, the rain begins to fall. The sun begins to shine, the sun begins to shine. Hi ho the dairy oh, the sun begins to shine. The plant begins to grow. The plant begins to grow. Hi ho the dairy o the plant begins to grow. Good, Good job. job. Wow. If you're looking for a great book that touches on the transition from winter to spring, we recommend An Earth Song by Langston Hughes for kids of all ages. In this illustrative adaptation of a beloved Langston Hughes poem, a child delights as the world around him awakens from winter and comes to life with the long-awaited arrival of spring and new beginnings of all kinds. This book is available at numerous CLP locations and requestable through our catalog as both a physical book and an ebook. We hope you get a chance to check it out. Before we go, we want to share a fun rhyme with you all. For all the caregivers out there, this rhyme is great for building phonological awareness, the early literacy skill we talked about earlier. Now, phonological awareness is that ability to hear and play with sounds. Songs and rhymes like this one that have repeated words or have simple rhymes help build this important early literacy skill. Just hearing you say these simple rhyming words like stop and hop out loud can help build your little one's phonological awareness. Ready to try this rhyme together? One, two, three. I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. I asked that little birdie to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. Good job! Thank you for joining us today. We sang some songs, we shared a story, book recommendations, and some fun stretchers and rhymes. Before we sing our goodbye song, we wanted to tell you about some amazing things that are happening right now at the library. First of all, February is Black History Month. For Black History Month 2024, CLP is celebrating the Black experience in art, centering both Black artists and subjects. Historically, Black artists have and continue to create, shape, inspire, and pioneer visual arts, music, cultural movements, and more. Join us as we honor the Black experience through book displays, resources, library programs, and community events happening this February and throughout the year. 
we also wanted to remind everyone that CLP's annual Celebration of Seeds is right around the corner. Held in collaboration with Grove Pittsburgh and Phipps Conservatory, this event features seed stories, conversations with gardening experts, hands-on activities for children and teens, and a selection of free seeds for the public. The Celebration of Seeds will be on Saturday, March 2nd at CLP Maine in Oakland, if you want to stop by, and we hope you do. We hope to see you soon. Well, Mr. Kevin, this has been a fun story time. Thanks for doing it with me. You're welcome, Miss Gabby, and thanks to all of you who watched this video today. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Are you ready to sing our goodbye song? I think so. This song is called Thanks for Coming. Are you ready? One, two, three. Thanks, thanks for sitting. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming here today. Now that story time is over, hope you have a lovely day. Bye, Bye everyone. See you next time.